Better Cities and Towns is brought to you by Frontier Communications. Our better town of the week is Madison, mm. the shoreline town. Mm, we're going to be heading there a lot soon with this nice sunshine <laughs> right? out there. It's beautiful. And it's home to about 18,000 or so, and it used to be East Guilford. All right, I just learned something new. I, I did, did not, not know, that. know that. I did not know that. And it is also home to the famous Hammond Acid State Park. Right. It is a rockin' town, thanks to the School of Rock. Here's a little education about the business that's big draw for area kids. Take a look. Recognize the song? It was a hit nearly 40 years ago for the police. The group started out as three young guys in London. A drummer, a singer and bassist, and a guitarist, just jamming out. These Connecticut kids are jamming out too. Members of a house band at the School of Rock in Madison. Courtney Gibbons is the owner. You know, School of Rock's method of teaching music is totally different. Um, and we've seen over and over again how it's, it's more than just the music. Yes, the students get one-on-one -on -one lessons, but they get so much more than that. They're learning how to read music. Uh, they're learning music theory. It's twice a week private lesson and then the band rehearsal, which is, you know, every night of the week, depending on which program you're in, three hours. You know, they have pizza. They jam out, they learn their songs, and by the end of uh, the season, which is generally 12 to 14 weeks, they're ready to put on an hour and a half, two hour show, you know, on a live stage, which is amazing. High school freshman Sammy's mom signed her up not long after the school opened three years ago. I really loved singing, and my mom was just like, she said it would be a great opportunity to play in a band, so I was, I didn't, I was a little worried at first, I was nervous, but I ended up loving it, so. What did you learn about the solo section and that song? Music director and instructor Brandon Terzakis sees all kinds of kids coming through the school. For some... It's kind of like a sanctuary almost for kids who have never really had an outlet um, like this before. Eighth grader Jared, who started at the School of Rock two years ago, agrees. I love playing music. Everywhere in my town where I go, it's all about like playing sports. There's basically nowhere you could go and play guitar. And that's where, and we found this place. Terzakis has witnessed some great transformations in his students. A lot of kids who are very much so in their shell, um, their personality changes drastically. They're way more outgoing, more sociable, more confident. Um, and it shows when they're performing 100%. I used to be so worried about getting up in front of people and like doing what I do, but I love singing and I don't even get nervous anymore. The kids ranging in age from six to 17 are exposed to a variety of instruments. We have guitar, drums, uh, keyboards, bass, vocals. And they're exposed to a variety of music. We will have themed shows. So right for now we're doing indie rock, for example, as one of our shows. We have classic rock as another one of our shows. Kids sign up for shows. It gives them an opportunity to learn different music. Jared certainly has an appreciation for the music of earlier generations. Just check out his shirt. Yeah, I love classic rock and there's a lot of those old star music. I love I I love everything like from like 30s, 40s, and 50s, all the way up to like modern music now. As for Sammy, who wants to be a singer? I really like Aretha Franklin, and I think she's like amazing, so. Owner Courtney Gibbon says she's seen kids who go here form their own rock bands outside of these walls. And she says the school gives them the tools they need to do that. When you get to a certain age, they want to go out there and start to book their own gigs. So we also teach them that part of the business. How do you book a gig? You know, how do you put together a set list that makes sense? How do you draw an audience? How do you market yourself? Um, so yeah, we love it when our kids, you know, make their own bands. If I could just picture the way I wanted my life to be, it would just be playing music in front of people because it's, it's, it's a fun experience. You should do that. Oh, what a great story. 
they, you know, it's a really interesting way to learn music. And Jared is actually in the running to go on the National School of Rock All Stars Tour, which is really exciting. Oh, wow, School of Rock isn't just for kids too. Yes. Yes. There is an adults program. There are four locations in Connecticut. Get involved. Get up yeah. there. So I have goosebumps. It's really. I mean, you always wanted to be a rock star. You can keep your day job and do it. To find out more about the upcoming camps and programs at the School of Rock, uh, the School of Rock Madison, just head to their website. It's locations.schoolofrock.com/slash. Madison.